there, I'm Jill with She Speaks TV, and welcome to our series on Wine 101, where we're talking about all the basic things about wine. And today we're talking about wine terms, some of the terms we hear when people describe wine. When we go to a restaurant or a wine store and someone's telling us that wine has a lot of mineral or tannins, what do all those things mean? So to find out those answers, we're here with Kim from Rebel in New York City, and she's going to kind of help clarify some of those terms. Thanks so much for having us today. Thanks for having me. So let's talk first off, a big one that we hear is tannins. What does it mean when they say that wine has a lot of tannins? Yeah, so tannin is actually, it's a natural compound. Uh, it's found in plant matter, uh, things like stems and leaves and skins. So uh, it is found in wine, most of the time in red wine. Uh, and there are different varietals that are more tannic um, and different styles of winemaking that can make it more tannic. So it's actually, and tannins in wine, it's uh, kind of this zing that you feel on your palate. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of bitterness and astringency. If you think about tea, when you steep tea and you have the tea yeah, leaves in the water, yeah. uh, it uh, kind of leaves a dryness in your mouth. So it's a textural sensation. And what about um, the, the weight of the wine? You hear, oh, that's very full-bodied. So what exactly is full-bodied and what's that spectrum? Yeah, um, full-bodied versus light-bodied versus medium-bodied. So I like analogy I like is if you think about kind of uh, Milk. So you think about skim milk, 1%, 2%, whole milk, heavy cream. Uh, these are all different like textures that uh, you feel on your palate. So they're the thickness. That's great. Okay. And what about dry versus sweet? I mean, and it sounds so simple, but it's actually more complicated. Than yeah. That. I think so. Dry versus sweet. It, pretty much, it's impossible for any uh, wine to be 100% dry. There's usually a, like a gram, a couple grams of residual sugar in a wine. I think most of the time when people say, "Oh, I don't like sweet wine," they, that means they don't like fruity wine or they like. Right. Some Something with a little more fruitiness. So a good rule of thumb, if you, um, uh, wines from a warmer climate tend to be more fruity, wines from a cooler t climate tend to be more dry. What about mineral? You hear the minerality of the wine. What does that mean? What exactly? are these psalms talking about? <laughs> the, uh, so, and yeah, mineral, it's a more subtle kind of um, flavor in wines. And I, an analogy that I like is with mineral water. If you think about Evian or any of those fancy kind of expensive bottles of water, uh, they have this sort of a little bit of like almost a saline thing sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it's a subtle kind of texture and flavor and nuance that um, we like and it brings freshness and it's similar with wine. Sim similar to to mineral water, does wine with more minerality cost more? Uh, sometimes, not all the time, but usually winemakers that care about minerality coming through, um, they produce smaller amounts of wine. Smaller amounts tend to be a little more expensive because they need to make money. But right. mm -hmm. And then we hear the term corked, which is not a good thing. You have corked wine, you don't, you don't want yes. corked wine. Yeah, corked. So corked, um, it's actually when this compound TCA infects the wine, and most of the time it comes through a cork that's been infected with TCA, which kind of comes from like a wet, uh, like wet basement atmosphere. So like if a factory where the corks are being made gets infected with this TCA, it can uh, can lead to be infecting the wine and um, it leaves this musty, wet dog kind of gross smell. And there's different gradations of how severe it's infected. So uh, would, would the average person know if the wine they open is cork? Uh, maybe. And would it make you sick if you drank it anyway? No. <laughs> maybe you just didn't love that wine. Did you drink yeah, it anyway? you might not love it and you might not know why, but it, it, it's, it's safe. You'll be okay. You'll yeah. live. So the experts would know that cork just is, no, you don't want cork. Yeah, it's, it masks all like the fruit and the flavors and you just get this like wet dog smell. Yeah, nobody likes to drink a wet dog. We don't want to have that. Well, there you have it. Some great terms for wine that we all use. And if you have any questions or comments about the wine you like, please leave them in the comment section below because we'd love to hear from you. And for more great videos like these, you can subscribe to She Speaks TV. See you next time.